going on to you, Leos. You have the Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, uh, Page, yeah, Page of Pentacles, the Star, Page of Cups, the Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Death card. So, so for you, Leos, right? The Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Five of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles is about self discovery, self. Um, like looking after self, looking after, right, self-improvement, trying to do better for yourself, focusing on self. But make sure if you do it, do it for real. Don't just do it just to get, just to appease the eyes of other people and become more attractive. Do it, honestly speaking, because you want to, okay? But the Eight of Pentacles is a card of uh, focusing on self and understand that indifference is power. All right. The Ten of Cups now represents. Um, and also with that, you have to understand that the Eight of Pentacles represents because it's connected. The Eight of Pentacles represents something much bigger than what you think. And this is why it's connected to the Eight of Pentacles, this Ten of Cups. This Ten of Cups represents. Rem remember that what is how do I say this on your journey to become better? Part of that is the type of people that you have around you. So a lot of you Leos have been on this journey for a couple of weeks now anyway, where a lot of you are focusing on what it is that you got to do. You really want to get this dating situation handled. And what I mean by that is a lot of you Leos need to really settle down and understand. Are you really on some self-discovery, hanging out by yourself type stuff to look cool or are you doing that because you really you really want to find out who who you are on a deeper level but you have to understand that when you cutting people off or when you're doing that you have to cut people off and you have to be more focused on yourself and be a little bit selfish to that to that extent and that really the only types of people that you really should be dating are the types of people who again jump into what it is that you're that the type of journey that you're on and they're able to keep up with you so they have to be doing the same things as you to be able to have them around if for instance if you leos are doing whatever and they're doing something else and they're in a completely different industry and they're doing something completely different one or two things need to happen they either need to start working at home some way to work at home so that they can sacrifice what they're doing for you or they need to be in the same business because if they're not you leos are going somewhere with this thing i'm i'm really seeing it y'all are looking for expansion and self-improvement and if you know people can't keep up they're going to get lost in the sauce because the five of swords now represents a lot of people like i said when you start having that type of worldly mentality, a lot of people are not going to like it. They're going to try to make it seem, they're going to try to curve you, dub you, try to make it seem like, you know, you selfish with your time. They don't like the fact that you always at work doing your stuff. And they're going to think that the two of you are pulling apart, right? You're, you, In other words, you never have time to relax and sit and chill. This is why it's so important to get into it or be in love or hang out with somebody who's in the same industry with you because then the two of you can talk about what it is and if they're not into that then they have to get into it with you or you have to get into a little bit what they're into relationships don't work if two people cannot figure out some sort of system to have some sort of common ground for them to remain together as as a pair so what happens is the page of pentacles now represents um the page of pentacles represents how and this is where the challenge is going to be now for you leos the challenge is is that can people ultimately keep up you know most people are not going to be on what you're doing so when you're getting to know people right if you make it past the first couple of times that the two of you hang out, date, whatever you want to call it, you really want to make sure that you and this person can find time from the jump to even be able to 
hang out with each other, okay? So then you have the star card, and the star now represents um, how, and this is what it is that a lot of you Leos may have to go out and look for, okay? As well as when people approach you, you really want to get to the bottom of who they are because it will save you a whole lot of time. Find out a little bit more of what it is that they do and find out if they have some time on their hands to be able to get into some of the things that you're into. Find out if, if you know, you know, if, 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 if you're on the path towards whatever type of greater or owning a business or whatever sets you up to be able to have that time to still handle your business, make a livable, um, a livable size of money, and at the same time still be able to spend time. You understand? So the Page of Cups and the Knight of Swords now represents so because if you don't, it'll it'll Page of Cups it, it represents you. It'll be kind of wishful thinking or delusional on you, Leo's part, to kind of really try your hand with with other people because that's part of why a lot of people end up breaking up too. It's the fact that people who they, you know what I'm saying? Like, a, you know, people who are not interested in what you got going on, they're trying to play themselves, trying to make it seem like the relationship could work. Well, no, no, it can't because the two of you need to actually have some sort of commonality. The two of you need to find a way to bond and having something to relate to each other is how it is that the two of you bond. You know, if, you know, if, if you know, for instance, if you Leos are, you know, if you Leos are, are running a multi-billion dollar business and they're not on board, nor are they willing to sit at home and wait for you, right? They're off in their own whatever lane they're in and they're into, I don't know, they're, they're working, they're working in a in a supermarket you, you understand what i'm saying like you understand what i'm saying like when you try to relate to the person they may they're not going to relate to you so the thing about it is that you want to be able to where you set one of those two up and and if you don't now it is that you how do i say this how do i get it out now you're able to understand when you will have some future problems the ten of wands and the death card represents and the relationships that you have, everyone in general, are going to be doomed because there a lot of people are making that one flaw in in how they approach people. Where if if you're a spiritually yoked person, where you're you're worried about doing better and be becoming better and upgrading and doing this and doing that, you cannot be in a relationship with someone who is dysfunctional and they're they're into you know the 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 flesh and carnal natures and stuff like this because these people won't understand the value in fasting, meditating, understanding these spiritual concepts, understanding how to evolve and expand the mind, how to how to think differently, how to think in different ways. They're gonna have a one track mind. Whatever it is that they want, they want it. And they don't care about long-term sacrifice, long-term uh, endeavors, getting their goals long-term without having to completely sabotage themselves. They won't care about that. So then um, let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the death. Let's clarify the death card. The Nine of Swords, up, oh, Ten of Pentacles, High Priestess, Seven of Pentacles, right? So the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and this is something that you shouldn't really worry about too much because relationships that are going to work are going to naturally work themselves out based upon the two of you will find, the two of you will create a system to actually be together, right? It, it will work out because the two of you will actually talk about it discuss it, take action on it, okay? The high priestess and the seven of pentacles, if it's too much like pulling teeth, if it's too difficult, 
you probably shouldn't be in that relationship with 